If you happen to have ordered a V1000 series vault without any pre-installed components through our website, here's a short tutorial on how to install various components in the Protectly V1000 series. If you've purchased an FW series vault in the past, or have been interested in purchasing one, consider purchasing one of the V1000 series vaults as they're essentially an upgrade of the FW series. First, remove the four screws on the bottom plate of the vault. The bottom plate can be removed by grabbing the feet of the unit. If you would like to install an LTE modem card into your vault, locate the M.2 slot on the motherboard labeled 4G 5G. Insert your LTE modem adapter at an angle and screw in the mounting screw. It's recommended that you first install the LTE adapter onto the board by itself, then press the pins from the LTE module into the adapter after fully screwing in the adapter. Make sure the pins line up properly. Once the pins are lined up and the module is secure, screw the LTE module into the adapter. If your LTE modem card does not already have the UFL connectors attached, they can be snapped onto the module by hand. Make sure they're snapped onto the two outer connectors. The center connector will remain unused. The attached coax cables can be directed towards the holes on the chassis of the unit, nearest the modem card slot. Keeping in mind to first remove the rubber plugs covering the holes in the chassis. Simply slide the screws through the holes and tighten on both sides using the accompanying lock washers. Be sure to install them securely and do not over tighten. If you would like to install the M.2 Wi-Fi module, make sure you do so before installing any additional storage, as the Wi-Fi slot is located underneath the NVMe storage slot and will be inaccessible after installing the additional storage. Locate the slot labeled Wi-Fi on the motherboard. Insert the Wi-Fi module at an angle and screw in the mounting screw. The attached coax cables can be directed towards the holes on the chassis of the unit nearest to the Wi-Fi slot. Simply slide the screws through the holes and tighten on both sides. You may need to rotate the screws to line up with the holes properly. The V1000 series comes with eMMC storage already on board, but if you would like to upgrade your storage, first locate the M.2 slot for your NVMe solid state drive and remove the mounting screw. If there isn't a screw already in the standoff, there should be some in the product box. Insert your SSD at an angle and screw in the mounting screw. To apply the included thermal pads to the heat sinks on the bottom plate of the unit, first remove the blue cover from the thermal pads. Then simply place one thermal pad on the heat sink which will offset the LTE modem if applicable and place two of the thermal pads on the heat sinks which will offset the NVMe when the unit is closed. This will allow the heat generated by the components to dissipate from the unit. The memory of the V1000 series is soldered onto the motherboard so there is no need for installing additional RAM. Replace the bottom plate of your vault and screw in the included Wi-Fi and modem antennas by hand. If this video helped you out, feel free to leave it a like, subscribe for more tech tutorials, and if you run into any problems, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching!